was that? What the hell was that? Excuse me. Hey, best scrap in the Commonwealth right here. I've got a few minutes to browse.
scaven. Let's trade. I've got a few minutes to browse. Hi. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you got, and let's see if we can make a deal. Sure. Let's take a look. So that's it, huh? thrusters, eyes, and voice synthesizer unit? That's a very good question. We're pretty sure the mist and particle stage effects are harmless, but it is best to hold your breath Excuse and keep me. your mouth yeah. closed huh? while singing just to be sure. Excuse me. Hey there, stranger. Welcome to the Manhattan Project. That's not mildew, you smell. What can I do for you? Where am I? You're standing in the Manhattan Project, Wanderer. The only bar in the Commonwealth with the staff who know how to use a broom and soap. You passed our clothing store and kitchen on the way up. Enjoy the lack of garbage in the corners. Just don't forget to spend your caps while here. Who are you? I'm Sora, half bartender, half bouncer, and along with my brother and sister, one-third owners of this enterprise into the novelty of clean things. The second floor is my business. More to the point, who's on the second floor is my business. Buy something, stay in line, and we'll do fine. What do you sell? What you see is what you get. Food, music, booze, eye candy for the ladies and the gents alike. Downstairs is where you can buy the clothes and music. Up here is where you can enjoy them without stepping on dead rats or being brained by raiders. So, since nothing in here is free, not even the view, what can I get for you? Have you heard any rumors? Huh? I was talking to a guy the other week about how the inside of this place is bigger than the outside. He said that sounded like a TARDIS. And that pissed me off! My brother was born that way, and there's no need to use that kind of language. We had to throw him out on the street. Can I ask you some questions? Well, what do you want to know? How do you end up in here? Those are my brother and sister downstairs. We're Diamond City Exports. My brother cooked at the dugout inn, and sis worked for Becky Fallon. Me? I was a guard until I broke Danny Sullivan's nose for putting his hand on my ass and giving his opinion of it. McDonough, being McDonough, tried to do the same thing when I complained, so I broke his fat nose too. Thus endeth our stay in Diamond City. We moved to Concord soon after that, and made do with what skills we had until we came across this business opportunity. Nice place you got here. If you mean the building, this place was a bar before the war. Had to fix a lot of it up and pay to get a purifier installed, but it came out nice. No rent, no landlord, no lease. It's amazing what a broom, soap, and some elbow grease can do. You'd think Diamond City would have figured that out. But I suppose you mean the staff. Good advertising, right? Sis's idea really fills the place up on a weekend night during live shows. Don't get any ideas, though. No touching. This ain't a brothel. I got a gun right where I can reach it. So do the rest of us. What's the story with this place? Pretty impressive, huh? Where else are you going to find the clean water and clean clothes outside of the bleachers these days? 
After we got kicked out of Diamond City, the three of us moved to Concord. It wasn't quite as lucrative as Diamond City, until we met some traders. As fortune would have it, we met them first because they were coming from way the holy fucking hell up north looking to offload their goods. They were selling the next best thing to toilet paper, fashion fabric from a warehouse far enough north that it never got rad moth damage. I mean, say what you want about the Fens Sheriff's Department fabric. It's great, it's new, it's functional, but it's not gonna turn any heads. No sequins or rhinestones, if you know what I mean. Anyway, my sister with her sewing skills and brains, she saw pure caps though. Took everything we had, but we bought them out then and there. We set up a deal with them too. We take the time to meet them a few days to the north to save them some walking, and they sell exclusively to us. I took a browning to the nasties in this place, and we open shop. Sis is the brains and makes the clothes, bro makes the food. And me? I use hot lead to turn your head into a canoe if you get out of line. It wouldn't be the ninth time. Blood hardly shows with this carpet. Hey. Hey there, stranger. If you're looking to spend caps, I'm looking to take them. You got any work? Can't say I do right now. We're doing pretty well for ourselves out here, and our private staff can handle the odd jobs I have. Show me what you got for sale. Nothing's watered down, because drunk people spend more. Yes? Carla, 
Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long. Sure. Let's take a look. I got a little bit of everything. You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. What the hell is a synth, anyway? Eh. You know. What? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in the second. Prepared for the future. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic? Leave me alone. <laughs> 